What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to do this very 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 simple scene in Blender. I'll try to keep it short. Start by adding a plane and scaling it on the x-axis. Now add a road image, plug the same image into the roughness, and do the same for the normal, but via bump app instead. Remember to plug it into the height, you can slide the strength down to get a more natural look. Now let's animate the car, add a Bezier curve and shape it a little however you want. When you have a shape that you happy with, add in your model. Now go into the constraints tab and add a follow path targeting the curve. Fix the position and animate the offset to go from 0 to minus 100. Now you should have something that looks kinda garbage. Change it from Bezier to linear so it looks a little more not crap. Let's do the car! Make sure it's rigged and parented to an empty. Now, animate it following the curve. A tip to get a better animation is to rotate the car a little before doing a turn. That will result in a drifting effect. Now, let's mold this road thing. It's very easy. I just took a cube and slapped some concrete textures on it. Uh, all you have to do now is just duplicate it and boom, you have a road. Add a camera, curve, shape it, follow path, target the curve, keyframes and stuff. Uh, 0 to minus 100, linear, you got yourself a little animation. Still looks crap though. Move the camera down to get a more cinematic look. Now you can array the road, delete those concrete things and model some rough buildings. It should be easy, cause they're just cubes. Take an image of a skyscraper and slap it on. Remember to make it emissive. Correct the UVs and boom. It's a, it's a city. Model some kind of sidewalk. Import a texture and use the same method as before to give it some realism. Slide around the UVs. If you have shearing problems, you can just reproject it somewhere else. Array. Duplicate. We have a sidewalk now. Nice. Why not model some more stuff? Maybe a car it doesn't even have to look good. Depth of field. Set the blades to 6 and ratio to 2. That is what will give it that anamorphic look. Motion blur, crank those samples up. Low res, we don't want long render times. Before rendering, add a large cube of the whole city and plug an emission shader into the volume to get some fog with real quick render times. If you had actually put some more time into this, uh, it might actually look good. I don't know. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, yeah, peace out.